Hi guys and welcome along to this review and demo video of the TP-Link 5 port gigabit desktop switch. Now this model number precisely is the TL-SG1005D. This switch is available in an 8 port version, they also do a metal version in 5 and 8 ports. Check out the links below to see this on Amazon. First off let's have a look at the box. On the front there 100 megabits per second, energy saving, uh, plug and play, you should be able to just plug this into your network and use it straight away. Uh, obviously you know it's gigabit. Um, in my network my router is only 100 megabit so it's going to be limited to that but I do plan on upgrading that in the future. On the side here we've got the specifications, all the things it supports, I'll put a link to the TP-Link website downstairs for all that. Shows you a typical network setup, all the features and benefits. Let's find out what's inside. That's it for the box. First up we've got the uh, bits and pieces about safety and that kind of thing. Then we've got some information about routers. Have a look at my review video of, have a look at my installation video of this router here. I'll stick it in the link below. User guide, we won't look at that plug and play and then onto the switch itself so we've got the power cable nice and long standard three prong power connection and then the switch itself that's it for the box comes in plastic that's actually a lot sturdier than I was imagining it So it's nice and nice and compact. Got the LED indicators along the front to show when things are connected, and the power, of course. On the back, you've got the five ports. One separate that allows you to connect it to your existing network, and then four which will extend the network and the power. So let's go and plug this in. Welcome along to the underside of my television unit where as you can see it's a serious jungle of cables. I've got a lot of things under here which require a network connection. I've got the Sonos which I've reviewed before, the Western Digital NAS drive, there's the Western Digital TV media streamer on the shelf down you can't quite see. This is my router, uh, this is the one that the ISP supplied and I recently changed to fibre and this requires a separate modem. I'm definitely going to be upgrading that in the future as this is only 100 megabit and it's slowing the network down. So I have just one port left and I have three things to plug in the Sonos, the Western Digital NAS drive and the solar panel monitor that I have for my solar panels on my roof. So what I'm going to do, so to install the switch I'm going to install a network cable between my last socket on my router and the number 5 port on my switch I've already got cables in here for the Sonos and for the Western Digital, so I'll plug the Western Digital in to the next port along. And I'll just work my way along the ports, plugging everything in one by one until every device has got an Ethernet connection. So that's everything plugged in. I just need to put the power cable in the back of the switch into the port on the left hand side and all the lights will turn on and it will connect everything up. So that's all plugged in and lit up. Number one isn't lit up but that's because the cable that is plugged into number one isn't actually connected into anything at the other end. So now you can see that all the other devices are plugged in and the network is connected because the green LED light there. Before anybody points out that's the default password for my network I've changed it. So overall guys I would definitely recommend this switch if you're looking for a way of extending your network through its Ethernet ports. Um, if like me you've only got a 5 port router and one of the ports is used up by a fibre modem then this is really ideal. You can get this in an 8 or a 5 port version, the links are in the description below. 
If you found this video useful, please hit subscribe to be notified of my next videos. And if you have been, thank you for watching.